Focusrite USB audio interface or USB audio interfaces, do you actually need one? Now, potentially, if you're using a USB microphone, you'll know that because the microphone will have, if I switch scenes, it'll have a USB connection opposed to one of these. You probably don't need this. Now, what, what is this for? So basically, USB microphones don't need a USB interface because generally the interface or the processing is built in within the device itself. So Waves do, um, particular uh, USB microphones, Rhodes do it, Shaw do them as well. So if it's got a USB, it's likely to have processing or it will have processing built in. Now, XLR microphones, as in microphones that take this connection, need somehow of connecting these devices the microphones into the computer now another thing they'll also do is take the output from the microphone if you imagine the diaphragm what you speak in the microphone that'll go through the microphone down the wire and then plug into the interface now depending on the type of microphone you've got this one here is a condenser microphone so it's quite sensitive it doesn't need an awful lot of gain um a nice microphone and i can be i still want to be fairly close to the microphone but i can be off access to the microphone and it'll still pick me up clearly now uh, dynamic microphones like the one i've got here i've got one here at least may or may not come into shot if i bring this into so i've got a sure microphone here that would or that does need more gain than this device would actually generate or i would have to push it to max i'd push it to max and depending if i was speaking fairly loud this would probably just about cope with what they call hungry microphones the likes of uh shaw's got them the i've got a road caster there that needs quite a bit of power so you can uh so depending on the microphone you get you can purchase a, a booster for it and that will actually boost the gain of the microphone so you don't have to drive these too hard however you don't necessarily have to do that because a booster is going to cost you anything from 60 to 80 dollars upward and while i was while i was using this interface i actually purchased these or i purchased two of these now this is more than enough to drive the shore uh this is and this is audio processing so this will actually do more than just take the audio into the device this will so you use these in conjunction with an audio interface so the connections are around the back microphone goes here signal comes out of this because this is going to do the processing and then comes into the audio interface and this will do those sweet radio sounds so it, it can amplify the sounds increase um, gain give you that deep uh, radio voice, cut, cut out backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. So that's what that device will do. However, if you've got one of these, and this is enough to process your audio, your microphone, you can actually use software to actually give you some of those benefits of that amplifier, that preamp. So cutting background noises, increasing uh, bass and all that kind of stuff. So the way this works, plugs in a USB port from this goes into your device. This takes power from your computer. So ideally, make sure you plug it into, and I haven't got one. Yeah, so you wouldn't necessarily want to plug it into an extension because you can imagine if you've got half a dozen devices, or here you can only have four, but if you've got devices pulling in power from your computer, so you may have a Stream Deck on there, and your keyboard, depending on your keyboard, if your keyboard's got loads of lights on there and stuff like that, that will all be drawing power. And then you need power for this device. So sometimes if you're finding that your sound isn't perfect in that, maybe it's because you haven't got enough power go into this device. So once you've got all that set up and you've powered it all up, it's just a case of plugging in your microphone, deciding if you need um, phantom power, and then it, you just speak to your microphone as, as you would normally do it. And then you'll see a green to amber setting. You won't want to go red. And then you'll also, depending to the software you're using, you'll see if you're peaking and that. And that's it. Basically, once that's set, you won't have to do anything again. That's your microphone set.
You can also plug in, obviously, a different mic, uh, an additional microphone, and you can also plug in guitars as well. So instruments, there's a, you can actually put in instruments in here. I don't know if people have played this with their lead guitar or uh, their bass guitar. Plug it in there, and it's like you've got a Marshall amp. But obviously, you'd have to put headphones in there to hear it. Headphone sockets, you can go there to monitor your sounds, and you can do a mix of what you're hearing from this to this, and you can change the balance and all that kind of stuff. So do you need audio interface? So as I said, if you've got a USB microphone, it's highly likely you don't. This will drive most microphones. As I said, something like the Shaw and some of the Rode mics, the uh, Pardon mic, if you give me a second. Yeah, told you a lie, sorry, it's a Rode Procaster. So this, I've got two of these. So this is quite a gain-hungry microphone, same with the Shaw. So this will drive it, but you'll have to push it up to the top so you may be hearing uh, a lot more noise. That's why something like a preamp or a what they call a cloud lifter may be li uh, needed for those type of microphones. Most of the other microphones, not an issue. Uh, used this device for about six years so far. And again, or I've got multiples of these. Uh, again, no problems. This is focus right. So if it's just yourself, they do a smaller version when it's just micro one microphone. Uh, if you've got a party of two and you're doing a podcast, probably worth getting the two. And that will sort out your USB needs or your audio needs via USB. Uh, as I said, this will take the power from there. And you can hook up headphones to obviously hear things and you can also hook up monitors as well so this you can actually control your sound all your sound from your computer coming in and out through this and this becomes in effect your sound card so hopefully that was helpful so if you did find this useful do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video